Peter Elides with you again. This is Thursday, December 19th, and this is our Stock Market Cycles update for that day, for this day. Um, one by one, little by little, projections are being met. Uh, and each projection that's met is important, especially for a major index or average. We've shown you the Dow Jones Industrial Average projections over the past week. And as you know, some of them, hopefully you wrote down the numbers that we, that the projections call for. We're meeting those one by one. This is the shortest one on a daily uh, basis, a nominal 10 Day upside projection intraday, not closing. We've shown you both of them, calling for at least 28,372 and change. And the high today, 28,381. So, for the first time, this projection has been met. Next longer one, nominal 20 day. Again, we gave these to you, but they're worth reviewing. This one calls for a minimum projection of 28, 444.28. And as you know, the high that I just gave you was not in that zone. The high today was 28,381. So in order to get up to the lower side of this projection, you need to go at least another 63 points or so. But little by little, these projections are being met. The next one calls for... Getting close to that one, too. Isn't this interesting? This one calls for a minimum of 28,427. Round that off to 28. So we have two projections, nominal 20-day, nominal 5-week, calling for minimum projections between 28,428, as this one rounded off. The one before this, I think, was 28,444 in that area. So you can see how close we're coming to meeting these projections one by one. The really long-term one and the one that we, is not a great confidence projection because of what happened in this time zone right in here, you could argue that it was at least temporarily invalidated. And when that happens, it calls the uh, authenticity of the projection into question. But you can't throw it out. This is the biggest one of all, calling for 29,000 and change. So <clears throat> if we meet the shorter-term ones, uh, it would be my presumption that we're going to see some kind of pullback from there and then perhaps i mentioned this a couple of days ago then perhaps decline come back up to higher higher projections satisfy them and begin to see at that point a lot of divergences not too much more to show you i'll very quickly look at a couple of things that are troubling for a bearish case this is the new york composite index this is that magical line that has been so good over the past uh, almost 10 years now. And we've broken pretty well above it. Not only that, but broken pretty well above the red line, which is the prior all-time high. So let's not rush to judgment here in terms of ringing the bell hard about the, the market top is in. I, I've told you all along, we're seeing numbers that begin to tell us we may be at or approaching a market top. But let's not rush to judgment because we need to see a lot more information before we make that judgment. The only other one that I want to show you here is the uh, daily AD line. And look at this little baby. I mean, it just keeps going higher and higher. This is usually not the way market tops are formed. Um, <clears throat> we went through, I, I had a line drawn in here, a tops line. We obviously went above that. And now I've drawn a, a channel line in here. Perhaps that's where we're going. I don't know. But you cannot look at this and rate it right now as anything but bullish for the short term. Doesn't mean you have to go up short term. It just means that you're probably very unlikely you're facing any kind of major market top right here and now. That's going to take a while to form. That's all we have for you today. Bottom right of your screen, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go and do that. Little red banner. Once you do, click on the bell. That'll tell you. You had to wait. Uh, I apologize for the update going on late today. We went into town and were there for quite a while trying to set up things with a collision. Was, is our car totaled from our accident and whatever? So it was a busy day for us. Apologize for being late. But if you click that notification bell, you'll know exactly when the updates go on. Thanks a lot for watching.